Hey guys, Jeff here from That Bold Life. I have Jackie with me from Once Upon a Church. He's agreed to kind of sit down and talk with me for a minute and just let you in on a little bit of his life. Yep. Cool. Uh, so as we get started, Jackie, won't you tell us just a little bit, uh, a little bit about your story? You know, maybe your Christian testimony, how you're saved, and all that good stuff. All right. Hi, my name is Jackie. Uh, I'm a YouTuber as well, same as Jeff here. And um, I I live in New Zealand, so I, like I was born in Hong Kong, but I was raised in New Zealand, which is like the far corner of this earth. And I've been a Christian for many years now. Ever since I was about eight years old, I've committed myself to Christ. And um, ever since then, I've always been like with Christ and always developed in Him. And until recently, a few years ago, where I started doing more ministry kind of stuff, I developed more and more my faith and also tried to help others in their faith as well. Outside, I'm a student as well. I'm in university and I do something called podiatry, which is to help people with book problems. And yeah, that's about a little bit about me and anything else I need to say or? No, that's that's good. Um, and guys, if you have not checked out his channel, it's Once Upon a Church and it'll be linked up here and like down here. It's, it's an awesome channel. I think I, I told him once that I was binge watching his stuff and I really was. Um, so yeah, dude, your channel is awesome. Um, Thank actually, you. I actually found you because you got a free drone or, or something. You want to tell us that story, how that happened? Yeah. Oh, um, that's actually a pretty cool story. Um, it actually relates to like uh, a little bit of my faith as well. Because uh, at that time, I was actually experiencing something like, I guess you call it a spiritual dryness, where you like kind of like just out of like God for a moment. You just really want to get back in. And that time, I was actually spending my time praying I, I fasted for about seven days and like um, every like all those time, like I was just trying to pray and pray to get closer to God. And then suddenly uh, there's this time when like this expo came and my friends were telling me like, oh, you want to go to this tech expo? And I was like, OK, might as well join. And then like um, somehow this guy, I was like vlogging myself there. And all of a sudden, like um, some people like saw me vlogging. And like inside the blog, I said, I really like drones. I really want one, something like that. And um, the next day, like uh, the drone, uh, the people who worked at the tech expo, they um, they called me and said, oh, Jackie, I really want to give you like a drone because I really like the video that you made. And I felt like it was something that like, in a way I can use like uh, my channel to minister a lot of people outside and not just to a small group of Christians, but also the people who are like uh, same interest as me in like drones technology that kind of thing so it kind of made me like feel a lot better and maybe connect with god a lot more yeah dude that's that's awesome so yeah, they gave me a free drone afterwards i was really happy yeah so so moral of the story fast for seven days and vlog in public and great things will happen right, <laughs> <laughs> man. right uh, pretty much that's awesome man i i love that story uh and i got to see the video you actually made your first video with that the dji spark and that was that was cool man Sorry. You got me one one. My wife's still saying no, though. I'm working on it, though. <laughs> cool. Okay, so uh, so who would you say uh, in your life has influenced you the most in your faith? Influenced me, I'd say mainly it would be like, a lot of my mentors when I was a lot younger, um, especially when I was like a teenager at that time. Um, as we all know, teenagers, like a lot of hormones are like firing up at that time. And like, I guess I was a really emotional person. And um, a lot of times, like, my emotions kind of got in a lot of ways. So it's kind of like I just use – I was just a really emotional person. And just, like, everything, I just couldn't control my emotions. I was just crying. I was just depressed a lot. And, like, um, my mentors, they really helped me out in just overcoming, like, all my, a lot of my depression. And just, like, a lot of things, they guide me towards a light that, like, through – through God that I can just go through and actually discover myself and my like identity in Christ. So that was something that really helped me, especially when I was younger. Um, nowadays, I would say it's more of like learning to be more like smarter in Christ, getting to know Christ a lot more and like through experience uh, from my other mentors, um, they helped me throughout my university years and like my work, like job outside and things like that. That uh, I think they really helped me a lot. So I guess in the whole sum, my mentors really helped me a lot in church. Nice. Okay. Cool. Yeah, it's always important to have people kind of guiding you along in your walk. I agree with that. 
All right, so kind of on that that same note, what what thing, whether it be like you know a book or a conference or a ministry, do you think has influenced you most in your faith? Hmm. I actually really want to tell you this book, and it's um, it's by I, I'm not even sure I'm pronouncing his name correctly, by Nick Vujicson. I think he's Australian, and he's he's actually a pretty famous, and he's famous for one thing, which is he has no limbs at all, and like this person, I think he's quite famous. So quite a lot of people know him. He's um, he writes books as well. Oh, he he gets on to write books for him, like um. His books are mainly to help like people in teenagers or uh, just people around my age or just people who are getting married to like talk about overcoming difficulties in life because um, he's he's really inspirational because like a lot of times he had no help uh, from people and he has no arms and no legs. I mean, living like that's really hard and he really inspires and teaches people how to overcome difficulties through Christ. Okay. Uh, do, yeah. what, do you know the name of the book? It was. Oh, there's a few names. Life Without Limbs. Okay. That was his first book. Uh, his second one. Oh, there's a second one that I really want to give. I just forgot to the book, the name of the book. Um, but the one I really like enjoyed the most was Life Without Limbs. Okay. That was something I really liked. Yeah. Oh. And I'm really hoping to get his newer books. They're coming out really soon. Very cool. Yeah, I've, I've heard of him, and it seems like I've seen a talk by him at, like, Life Church or something. Uh, but, guys, I will have the books linked down below if you want to check those out, uh, probably on Amazon. Okay. Uh, I'll, I'll definitely accept after I didn't know he had written any books, and it seems like maybe I should have known that. But I'm definitely going to check them out because his story's incredible. Yeah. That, that's a He's one of those guys that really touches the heart. He really knows to the core about, like, depression and things like that. He's really good at it. Yeah. Uh, so what would you say, um, if you if you were to sit down and kind of give us a look at what your personal time with God looks like, uh, whether it's like a daily Bible study or meditation, kind of what's that look like for you? For me, um, I always like whenever I do like personal time with God, it's more like a prayer. So I always get like um, a towel and I put it right on the floor where I can kneel down. Yeah. And like um, usually I kneel down around like a time where I just woke up or a time maybe I'm about to sleep, depends on the situation as well. So I do, I find a time where I am more, like I guess I would usually be on the internet or something. I use that time to be like praying to God instead. Yeah. So I'll be, that I sort of take it as like kind of like a fasting in a way. So it's kind of like taking that time where you normally um, do normal like internet stuff or just chatting on Facebook and just take that away for a second, just turn off my phone and actually pray to God. And actually um, what my parents would tell me to do is also to learn like to praise and worship God as well. So I usually have some hymns where, or maybe just like hill songs or just uh, songs about worship and actually worship God at that time. Yeah. And then I'll be praying to God and just talking, I guess it's like a personal time to talk with God. So it's kind of like a personal kind of like a talk between me and God. It's like, it's not like I'm saying like, um, hey God, I want you to do this for me. It's more like I've been talking to him like a father, son kind of talking relationship. Yeah. That's mainly that. And also, um, I also try to look up uh, like what to study in the Bible and depending on what I, I, I want to achieve at the time. So there's a time I felt really dry in God. And I didn't know how to like get back to him. And I was looking like at this channel called um, the Bible Project, which they also talk about like a lot of like summarized versions of the Bible. And I looked it up, and like there are some that actually related to what I wanted to do. Yeah. So I look into that, and then like I go at the at the Bible time that I do at night. Um, I always like go and actually look into the Bible specifically, like passages. And also in the book, like a whole book, and rather not just like a small little passage, just like a whole book of it, and just do Bible study around that time. That's how I would do like a, that's like my Bible studying routine that I do. Yeah. Yeah. That's really cool. And I'll make sure the Bible the Bible Project is linked down below, because I also, I love that channel. Yeah. Uh, which they have a podcast too. It's really good too. Uh, yeah, they do that. Yeah. Okay. Um, all right. So... 
My channel is called That Bold Life, and it's all about a Christian living a bold life. So uh, what what exactly does a bold life look like to you? For me? Yeah. Um, for me, it's mainly, like, I grew up, like, being bullied a lot in, as a teenager. And, like, a lot of times I never really stood up for myself. And, like, a lot of times it wasn't just, like, people pushing you around, not, like, physically, but more like a verbal like verbal abuse right. and especially like um, in church, I was actually bullied in church. It was kind of weird to say this, but like doesn't sometimes I, I wasn't actually yeah, feeling well at church. I didn't really like be, to be in church because I was bullied a lot there. Mm-hmm. And the thing is I wasn't able to step up for myself. And it was until like I really learned from my mentors to actually step up and actually talk about it, to be truthful and like God's word and in love as well that like I was able to be more bold and actually brave enough to talk to them about it like personally to my bullies and actually just say things like that and actually resolve my problems so to be bold to me is to actually step up and actually tell the truth but the truth in love in church yeah yeah I I definitely like that and that's uh, that's a really good point uh, for anyone else out there that's being bullied that you know that you should have mentors, someone that you can speak to, and you should grow in your relationship with with Christ to, to help strengthen you in that. Um, I know as a youth pastor, I, I deal with students all the time that are kind of facing bullies, whether it's physical or verbal, um, mm-hmm. and, and I always tell them, you know, that we're here, like uh, myself and the other leaders, we're there with we're an open book. We'll give what advice mm-hmm. we can, but we're mainly there for support. Um, and I think that's awesome that you you overcame that. That's uh, I think an inspiration for a lot of kids out there. Yeah. God bless. <laughs> yeah. It's, you know, it's, it's tough, man. It really is. And, and from the best I can tell with my kids, it's, it's even worse today than it was, you know, when I grew up, you know, 10 years ago in school. So, mm. okay. Um, so Jackie, w- what exactly are your plans for the future? Maybe with YouTube or with your career, with your ministry, w- what's your plans look like? My plan, I thought about a five-year plan, but it's yeah. still like a flexible plan. Like, uh, I was thinking of growing my YouTube channel a lot more. I'll be focusing more on my channel. And also, um, since I'm in my last year of university, I'm graduating next year. So after I graduated, I was thinking of like a part-time job where I can do like ministry and my job at the same time. And then depending how like my channel grows, that I can uh, think of going full-time on YouTube one day. It's still like, uh, to me, it's still in God's hands right now. So it's kind of like I've, I've been praying about it a lot. Just praying about it every night about my YouTube channel and also like my future. How is that going to turn out? And maybe like um, depending what God will do, then I will follow what he wants me to do. Nice. So, yeah. 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 I like that. Leave it in God's hands, man. It sounds like you got a good plan, though. And I, I personally, I really enjoy your channel. So I, I really believe it's going to grow. I do. Cheers. All right. Uh, so, uh, with that being said, where exactly can my viewers connect with you? Uh, for me, it will mainly be my YouTube channel, and um, that's uh, Once Upon a Church. Okay. And also, like because uh, YouTube is developing more like the stories, the reels, um, like kind of like becoming a social media platform. I feel like uh, YouTube's got to be like the big like social media where I can interact with other people as well there. But otherwise, right now, it mainly be my um, Facebook page which is also Once Upon a Church. I'll put the link, um, send the link to you, Jeff. Okay. And that was the ma- that's the main way you can contact me. Otherwise, it's going to be my Instagram. However, I don't use Instagram too often. So um, it's I'll put the link anyway to you. I'll send like the, the name of my Instagram over. Okay. Yep. And those are the main ways. Okay. All right, guys, I will have everything we talked about linked down below as well as Jackie's channel will be around here somewhere for you to click. And uh, everything we talked about will be there. I hope you guys enjoyed this video and this interview. Definitely check out his channel at Once Upon a Church. Yep. All right. See ya.